Ooh, look at all of this fresh bread. I wonder if they have one that's gluten-free. Let's ask. Hi, do you have fresh gluten-free bread? No, I don't want you don't, huh? Of course they don't, Nikki. What were you expecting? Let's check the bread aisle. Okay, so this is pretty much the only gluten-free bread option. Let's check out the ingredients, shall we? Damn, there are like 10 different ingredients in this thing. Uh, no thank you. What else can I use as a bread replacement? Hmm, rice crackers? Yeah, these don't look boring and bland at all. Cornstarch, palm oil, modified cornstarch? What? I'm pretty sure all of these ingredients are no-nos. The use of palm oil in food products is a huge concern of environmental activist groups and genetically modified cornstarch is a big red flag. On another note, this crap is being sold at Whole Foods? Screw this, I don't have time for processed foods. Let's check out what mother nature has to offer. Ooh, these look good. Wait a minute, I think I can do something with these organic sweet potatoes. Come home with mama. So as some of you may already know, I have a gluten intolerance. And apparently as many as 18 million Americans have a non-celiac gluten sensitivity. That's a lot of people if you ask me. So as someone who has a gluten intolerance, I can't eat anything that has wheat in it. So that includes bread, pasta, soy sauce. Yes, I know that there are a lot of gluten-free options out there, but to be completely honest, most of those products taste like complete cardboard and the ones that don't are usually very, very highly processed. So the hack that I'm gonna show you today is not only amazing for people suffering with celiac or gluten intolerance or sensitivity like me, but I think it's great for bread lovers in general. Even if you look at the ingredients that go into making a loaf of bread, there's at least 10 to 30 ingredients and most of them I can't even pronounce. Even if you make bread yourself, there's at least five ingredients that go into making bread. And I personally have never heard of a bread made without flour and no matter how you make bread, flour is a processed ingredient. If you are a bread lover and want a healthier alternative that is not only good for you, but also super easy to make, then this hack is for you. Okay, so I washed a sweet potato and cut off the butts on both sides and then cut a few slices lengthwise. This is going to be my bread. Still confused? Keep watching. Next, you want to preheat a toaster oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, or if you don't have a toaster oven, you can use a toaster. No, really, let me show you. So I'm going to toast two of my sweet potato slices in my toaster and two of them in my toaster oven. All you want to do is pop the slices in as if they were slices of bread in the toaster and for the toaster oven, just lay them on an aluminum lined baking pan. Once my toaster oven was preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, I set the timer for 10 minutes and then put my toaster on the highest heat setting and turned that on too. I had to turn on my toaster three times on the highest heat setting to get the same results as baking the slices in the toaster oven for 10 minutes. Both also took about the same amount of time, so it's a great option if you only have one or the other. You can also use a regular oven to bake your slices, but it will take longer to preheat. So now that my sweet potato toasts are done, I like to top them off with some delicious toppings. Here are some of my favorite combinations. The first one is homemade guacamole with chili flakes. The next one is homemade guacamole with a fried egg on top. Yum! And the last combo is hummus with paprika. I am obsessed with making these and it also doesn't hurt that they are packed with tons of vitamins and minerals. And then because I'm extra, I sprinkled some chopped parsley on top to make it look a little more presentable for the tube. Hey, I'm still working on my presentation skills, guys. Cut me some slack, okay? I'm not Gordon Ramsay, clearly. But seriously, guys, you have to try these sweet potato toasts. They're so, so good. Come on, look at that little dance. I only dance when something is amazeballs. Hey, can I tell you a secret? If you're subscribed to my channel, you might still be missing out on my content. To make sure you don't miss my next video, click on this little bell icon next to the subscribe button and check off this box to receive notifications from my channel every time I upload a video. Want to see what I'm up to outside of YouTube? Follow me on Instagram, Snap, and Facebook. And don't forget to subscribe. 
So, I don't know about you guys, but I'm tired of wasting money on skincare products that don't do what they promise to do. Do we really need five moisturizers, three serums, two exfoliators, and four toners anyway? Perfect skin. I want it, you want it, your friends want it, your moms want it. Am I right or am I right? 